Não. Ah! Have you seen? Excellent. Let's clap for ourselves. <laughs> The 2021 Women Leaders Retreat has been amazing. The participants who are business women, business leaders, bankers, medical doctors, lecturers, and a few other students, they've really shared deep, deep stuff from their hearts, deep experiences. We are all learning from each other through the various activities and workshops. The speakers who have passed through too are just amazing and there is so much going on here that we are grateful for. You hit about 40, your metabolism starts slowing down. It starts slowing down. That's where you, the person, starts fighting with, ah, I used to be able to do it. You know what's going on? This retreat has been such a wonderful one. I've had tremendous experience in this retreat. We've learned a lot. I mean, I couldn't have traded my time with any other time than this one. And one thing I've learned during this retreat is consistency in whatever you do. You, you might have the desire, but it should be backed with consistency. Once you have consistency, there is nothing that you cannot do. And it's, it's one thing that I'm taking away. I'm going to make sure that in everything that, that I do, whatever I desire in doing, I'll be consistent about it one a day and one at a time and I'm sure I'm going to make it. Thank you. Thank you very much. So all these questions I was asking was for me to understand the kind of relationship that we have uh, with your customers. And so uh, that takes us to our main discussion, that is customer relationship management. What it's all about, uh, why is it important, uh, how do we go about it, how do we build uh, such relationships, and then if there is time, we also deal with uh, relating with difficult customers. I've learned a lot here. I came here, I was having this low self-esteem, but now I can work with confidence. I know I can do anything, just anything. I don't have that low self-esteem again. I'm very confident. I know that I don't have to please anyone. I have to be me, do me. Thank you. Being here has been great. I've met wonderful ladies, strong ladies and it's made me learn that I am not alone. I have a network of friends and ladies I can rely on and create impact. I'm really happy to be here. We chose the position, we said it was a woman. So we gave her a spot on that, I want to see this point. So when everybody else was thinking position was a man, we knew deep down in our spirit.
Let's not put ourselves out. Today is day two of the Women's Leaders Retreat, and I must say, it has been very um, releasing, therapeutic, and very insightful so far for me. And I have learned a lot, but one important thing that uh, uh, has resonated with me for the past two days has been to look beyond people's faults and see their need, because we all need each other. We had a wine and art session, for instance, which really wowed us because for most of us, we didn't even think we could draw. But what we were able to produce was just beautiful, which goes to show that we can really do anything we put our minds to. We've had very positive feedback from majority of the participants so far. Today is day three and it's going so well. It's been a wonderful experience so far since yesterday. I've learned so much about myself and my key takeaway is to do me. And this art also tells me that all things are possible. I'm not artistic at all. So for me to be able to do this, it means all things are possible. You must be ready to tell your story. So three ways of, of many ways that we could be visible. Three of them have to do with us talking. I don't like to talk. <sighs> then we have to remove the L out of this leadership. I just want to lay a foundation that being a value-adding leader has to do with you speaking and having an executive presence. This women's leadership retreat has been amazing. I've been fortunate, this is the second time I'm part of the Fabulous Women's Network, a program by them. And this time around, just having the women together converging in one place. I think it's one of the experiences that has been different. What this has done is that we have been able to bond better. And the experiences we have shared, I believe, will take us to the next level. Some of the key takeaways for me have been being able to step out of our comfort zone. Um, we took part in an exercise that allowed us to explore with art and I think that was amazing. Again, it's important that as leaders and women especially, we are not stereotyped. I think in the past women have felt marginalized and this is an opportunity for us not to repeat some of these mistakes as we go up the ladder in leadership. It's been an awesome experience and I would recommend it for you any day. Thank you. Only challenge, but you can overcome it. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? You will do like nothing happen, and you, will, if you find yourself doing something that you you have, you enjoy, mm -hmm. you don't see those challenges. Have you ever felt overwhelmed at any point in your life? Can you share with us, please? If that happened, how did you deal with it? This is your done. This is your break. Move like the move like the move like the sunlight. Darkness can't. <laughs> questions and take that back with me today. So again, congratulations to all of you and I look forward to seeing your successes here in Ghana. Thank you. It's not ending here. We are also going to have mastermind sessions once a month we we'll meet online to continue to support each other through accountability. We are going to learn from other speakers online and we just meet and continue to be a strong community of women leaders supporting each other to rise because you know what? We are fabulous. I know the sadness that cripples you It comes in waves and out of the blue But there are days you feel freedom too